Alright, welcome back to everyone to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and I have no idea what the noise is. So, this episode will be exploring more of this uh, hospital. Like, come on, see, under there! Okay. So, okay, wh what am I doing? What the fuck? What, wh what am I doing? Okay, come on. Yeah, pass it around. Okay, huh. That was that was crazy. Okay, look at this door. Uh no, you can't. I don't wanna lock it through there. Oh, okay. Some weird stuff. Okay. Um this is Oh, uh, computer. Um Had overs. Cat passers cowbell. Oh well, never mind. All right, screw this. All right. No, I don't know. I'm not gonna do the operator. Something about the okay. I don't want to call the operator. Oh, um, to this door. Take the key. Malcolm's office key. Good. Get this ghost's office. <sighs> oh, pills. We need from a Kyushiro. Okay. Email. Pancreas or Pancreas <laughs> tonight or tonight. Uh, Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing up, but swing by my apartment after your shit. Uh, you don't. You do still have house calls, don't you, Doctor? I uh, have something that needs to be checked out. Page. Okay, do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't, or if you don't want. But I really need some help studying for my imagery test, please, Paige. Is that his wife? Um, guess I'll have to see you around five. I'm really glad, glad you finally decided to come over. And if you should have or if you should want me to show my appreciation you just have to ask Paige um next oh that's the day oh wait oh no 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 this is different Malcolm do you think you will be able to get a day off this next week my mother's coming into town on Thursday so I brought a new mattress and some curtains for the guest room and do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Look at that. Alright. Patience. Password is Hippocratic. Hippocrate. Whatever. Okay. I'm oh, I don't put phone. Kilpatrick's the name in there. Oh well, wait. Arthur P Kilpatrick had um, some had a little whatever. Room four, where's? Okay, he's in room three. Sup, Laurel? You, Malcolm. Your wife knows about your affair. The force is expensive. I'll mask in it for a few bucks. I'll go for then I'll go forward that email from Paige to uh, to Trina at 
S O L at dot V T M. Wait now. What do you want? Seventy five bucks. Put it in the mailbox for 805 in apartments over at the pawn shop doctor. I should have have an option for 105 bucks. Oh well, or 150, whatever. Alright. Can I still hop? Can I still help her? Yeah, fuck her then. Well, I actually think it's really fast. Alright, let's get out of here before we get caught. Oh, I can't. I'm so hurt. No, screw her then. Yep, at least one cut came out of the way. Or two. Dang, she get, she would give me money in the future too. Motherfucker. All right. Um, what's next? We can check quest. Okay. Um, talk to me. I still have her stuff here. Um. And so it's back to the beach we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. What? What? Ah. I hate stuff like this happening. I'm not even pushing the the um start button like on the keyboard I'm not pushing I, I didn't push anything except for the or yeah no I did I didn't push nothing and yeah whatever oh wish you did You're welcome to eat. Keep her safe. Gonna be getting out of LA soon. It's been dangerous here. Those who told us something big better happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. I'll think about it. Thanks, E. Good luck. Ah, crap. Okay. I'm gonna turn my volume a little bit. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I'm not the guy who just tore out the guy's throat with my teeth. Goodbye. Wait, what? What's wrong with my game? You might save me, but I can't look at you. You think anyone could be so compassionate, so heartless? You'll get there. You've already turned into that highway. Goodbye. What the hell? What? What I do? What did I do? Swear to God, what I don't know what I did. Oh, never had that egg before. What's wrong with my game? Acting really strange. What did I do? Seriously, she did she suffer? Is she suffering from amnesia already? I don't need her stuff now. Uh, well, you can actually sell her purse. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna sell her purse for payback. Yeah, I'm gonna sell her freaking purse. I'll keep her diary too. 
See how she freaking likes it for acting for being mean to me. I saved her life and she does not feel grateful. What an idiot. Ugh. Oh. Screw her then. Yeah, screw her then. I should report the cops. Yeah, yeah, whatever, screw you. Hmm. There's a girl being mean to me after the left and she's not grateful. What a fucking bitch. I'm a fellow purse. <laughs> that would be evil. <laughs> well. Open up. Okay. Hey. Okay. Let me sell the purse. Well. Thanks for coming back. What you need? I like to, or, yeah, I like to buy something. It's me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone... Same cutscenes. Um... To... I see. I, you must be buying... I'm, I need to buy something. Alright, here's what we Whatever. got today. Um... Alright, well... Well, this is what you get. Yeah, I saw her diary. Can I sell her diary? No. Yeah, I can only sell this, though. No. Um. Oh, pill bottle. So that. And I sold the car stereo in the last part, in the last part, I believe. So, yeah. If you want your purse back, Lily, you are gonna have to buy it with your own money. <laughs> this is what he gets for being mean to me. Ho 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 ho! Ugh, Jesus. Piss me off. <laughs> uh, I still need my blood. Wait, where am I going? Yeah, come on. Uh, no. Cash. These two start to get these two quests out. Basically, uh, re return to Kimikushiro. Well, <sighs> what is wrong with my game? First bubble and begum. I can't help that girl. If Lily pisses me, Lily gets pissed off at me for no reason at all. And uh, that's it. Well, there's something else too. I can't remember. Okay, Mikisho. I brought the some um, morphine. Hold still. I got the astrolite back. Yeah. Yeah, they left me cho no choice. Good. Great. Although it was painful. Did you get my money back? Your money? Yes, I did. Here it is. Oh, uh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabat interest. How do I find this place? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tom. Third room Tom. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tom's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tom's laying low because of Therese. Therese Foreman, you know her? Okay. No. Word is Therese and Tom are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tom thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground until Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the fuel. Murray, where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers freak with that place. I try not to do business there. What can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. 
Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I think, or, I have a good question about someone else. Who exactly? Jeanette Foreman. Therese, Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? Alright. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says, you type, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Bertram Tun. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. He's kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about it. I have some uh, questions about people. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. You say it's my calling. You're the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? You said something about blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. I have some questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? No work and escort some guns. Guns? Guy named Chip up the street. He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call. He'll sell to you. Least I, can do. I had some questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? Tell me about the power of players of Sa in Santa Monica. Who exactly? Oh fuck. Never mind. Um, the UPS is here, Sonic. I'll get at the door. I'll be right back. I'll right back, and uh, here's, there was a package on the left by FedEx. So. Um, let's continue on. <sighs> All right. So, let's go to the asylum. And this is where things get freaky. Not re well, not really that freaky, but uh, you you know. It's like soon as soon as you reach the dance f to uh, the area where the dance floor is. Yeah. Well. Ooh, what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club. Mmm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? What the hell's your problem? Oh, I was just thinking about this delicious little pancake who came into my club and wasn't so sweet because he was soaked in vinegar. Little flirt. You're insane, you know that. Says the world, but we all keep riding on this moonlit carousel regardless. Who are you? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out, and the name on all the major walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile, and everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Aren't you the tease? Got a name I can remember you by? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. Oh, I just love to give you fun feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with you this We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise. Soon can't. Oh, uh, goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Jesus Christ. 
play. Music's fucking loud. I'm looking for a tree. Nowhere can find her. God, he talks so soft. I called earlier about the bartending job. They need to fill right away. Sorry, I had to be the one to tell you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, see, he's pissed. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. Okay, I'm looking for someone. What, vampire? What the hell you're smoking? I can't hear him. All right, let's that. All right then, let's talk. Music's so loud. I can't hardly hear him. Uh. Are you a vampire? How can you know all this? I'm a ghoul. You know about any of these fellas from a couple of months ago. The guy disappeared. Well, all of a sudden, bam! Whoa, man! Vampires are real. I'm right there in front of my eyes. Blue, my God. You said you were a ghoul. What is that? Well, wait, wait. I'm a vampire. Stop your sex. You seem to enjoy it. Who's that nasty dude? No kidding. Small world. I'm looking for him. What is Burton like? Oh man! Well, he's like the only vampire I know, but, well, he's pretty damn powerful! Oh man! Well, when he's looking at you, it's like, really, standing in the morning, and I was like, that'd be crazy! Oh man! But I guess that's the Nosferatu thing, you know? <laughs> they like, know everything, I, I guess. Oh, I think the music stops. Damn. So, what does he have you doing? So, what's the problem? Oh man, this guy. Things got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy is here around me all the time. Like, I'm in the distance watching me, you know, walk up next to me. Oh, Want me to take care of it? Driver's license? Should you tell me who he is? No. The picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, thank you. Alright, I'll take care of it. Right on! Come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop taking it off. Maybe I'll see Bertram 
Five Sounds good, Knox. I have a couple of questions. Actually, I need to get out of this later. Get out of here, get Alright, here's conversation. Sounds like a fight. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 there's a gold ring there. I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, carnival. Okay, let's go. Halt! Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well. Let me just... Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. If you say so. I guess that means you're Therese. Therese Borman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Okay. I need you to call off the feud of Okay, I need you to call the off the feud of Bertram Tun. Tung's exile is self imposed, I assure you. But then what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. Um well we'll see. Hmm. Why did you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Want me to find him and kill him? I'm not sure the Camarilla would find that an acceptable method of dealing with one's rival. And right now, I very much need their approval to become officially recognized as the legitimate administrator of this city. Could you put the word out and that you got to no feud with him? Why would I do that? I didn't think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? That's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tong and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been... To say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. <sighs> Gladly. What do I have to do? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirit, and bring it back. I'll do it if you promise to call the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peer. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna turn on the volume a bit. She's getting too loud. 
I can I can respect that, and I appreciate it. Goodbye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Sewers? You're really pushing in it now. Listen, you're young and naive, so I'll offer you this chance one more time. Continued existence versus a beautiful sunrise. I give it serious consideration. If I must, very well. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. I had a few questions. Uh, tell me about your sister. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good for the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five and dime. I got a few questions to bounce off you. Um, okay. Let's see. I changed my mind. Goodbye. <laughs> What's that? Oh, light. Alright. Let's go back to the loud music. Got this truck. Hmm. Damn music. Uh. Got the music. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's about done with it for this part. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Uh, next time we'll be going on the to the uh, Ocean House Hotel, which is which is haunted. So see you guys next time.